Oh, time to jump on the tractor. Yep, they are doing it all out there at Eckerd's Farms in Belleville this morning, where we are live in your neighborhood. Yes, indeed, showing you all of what's going on there. Yes, we continue to stay in your neighborhood in Belleville this morning. Blair Lede and John Pertzburn are hanging out at Eckerd's this morning. And if they hang out there long enough, they'll be able to celebrate a big anniversary. What is that, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be next summer. Oh, wow. We it, won't be here that long. Well, we're yeah. here today. <laughs> we'll come back to the station and celebrate with you, and then we'll all come back to Belva because it was in the early 1950s that Channel 2, before it was Fox, before it was even 2, the station started right here in Belleville. A lot of people don't even know that. Right. John, you always got the good facts for us, though. Well, I, I enjoy history. So we're going to take you back in time to that summer when it all started here in Belleville. It was in August of 1953. Eisenhower was in the White House. The average yearly income was $3,200 a year. And inside this small brick building on Belleville's West Main Street, what would one day become Fox 2 went on the air for the first time. WTVI Channel 54, St. Louis's second TV station, located on Signal Hill and supporting a massive 600-foot tall tower and transmitter. The first broadcast was a St. Louis Browns home game sponsored by Falstaff Beer. The station's slogan, Sports Galore on 54. There was also news with anchorman Bruce Hayward. Check out that fancy news set. WTVI was part of the Dumont Television Network, which disappeared in 1956. The same year, WTVI was granted a stronger signal across the river in Missouri. So the station moved to St. Louis, west of the Mississippi, where the call letters begin with K. So WTVI became KTVI, Channel 2. And so it's remained ever since. So what became of that original Belleville location on Signal Hill? Well, it's still there today. But to my dismay, anchormen are no longer the center of attention. Good morning. You are watching WTVI, Belleville, and now the news. Yeah, you know I love you, baby. And no, the broadcasting days there are all old news. Everything was replaced more than 60 years ago with a series of dental surgeons. We do things ranging from jaw surgery to correct deformities to temporomandibular or jaw joint surgery. Uh, we treat tumors of the head and neck. We do cosmetic surgery. Dr. Michael Noble is the latest surgeon and owner of the oral surgery practice called Mosaic. And he's in the process of remodeling the old building. Have found a few remnants of the old TV station. Yeah, some old plans and some photographs. So we're trying to incorporate that into this redevelopment. In the waiting room, a wall is filled with old photos dedicated to what once took place inside. And if Dr. Noble ever tires of his current occupation, perhaps it could happen again. Outside, the footings for the old TV tower could be reused, and the doctor owns a helicopter just like Sky Fox, which he flies himself. But what about his voice? This is WTVI Belleville. You could become a broadcaster too. All right. I, only if I aspire to greatness. I love that, John. I learned a lot. Yeah, and he's a pretty good broadcaster. Okay, I but like but it. better in oral surgery. I wonder if he could remove this from my finger. He is so silly, but I did learn about this too. We cooked up some of these morel mushrooms, they right, John? Are, this has been an incredible season. <laughs> Blair had never had one, so when we check back with huge. you guys, we're going to see a little cooking session, and Blair's going to eat her first morel mushroom, the fungus among us. Yeah, it was pretty good, so you guys stick around and check that out. We are live in Belleville in your neighborhood. Don't go anywhere. we got a lot left for you guys.